Now, after learning the theoretical part, exactly how many charts are there, we will look into practically how to insert the chart into a Google Sheet. So, as you are clearly able to see over here, we require to go in insert and then we will be able to see charts over there. So, let's go ahead and see. So, I require to go under insert toolbar over here. You will be able to see charts. As soon as I click on charts over there, you will be able to see different types of charts that are present in Google Sheets. It will take certain time over here. So, you are able to see over here, first it is suggested, then it is line, area, column, by map and so on. One more time, first, I am just deleting this part over there. What I will be doing? I will be selecting the entire range of data, the entire range of data as in, I am selecting from name, group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5 and group 6. So, these are my data I require to represent in a graphical format because graphical format it is very easy for the user to understand rather than focusing on the numerical data that is over there. So, first again go in insert, go in charts. You will be able to see over here, first I require to select the desired chart over there. So, as you are able to see over your name, it is group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5. Done. Now, if I want to change the chart title over here or delete the chart, I will be able to delete it one more time showing you the entire data one more time. So, go in insert charts and let us see now what is displayed over here. You will be able to see that yes, now I am changing the part to a column chart and let us see graph. Yes, there are six groups. You are clearly able to see group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5 and group 6. Group 1, it is indicated with the help of blue line. Group 2, with the help of some red line. Group 3, orange. Group 4, green. Group 5, orange and group C, somewhat blue color. So, let us see whether the data that is displayed is correct or not. So, what I am doing? I will be just shifting this particular data over here. Now you will be able to see that yes, group 1, group 1 it is 500, group 2 it is 415. You are able to see over here, just take your cursor over there. Group 3 for uh, craft table it is 245, for group 4 it is 310, for group 5 it is 490 and for group 6 it is 355, the heading is craft table. Let us look for face painting, 160, then it should be 150, then it should be 130, then 170, 180 and last it is 100. So, in this particular way, you are able to represent the data that you have collected in Google Sheets in a much visualizing appeal, uh, in a much visualizing data that is nothing but representing it charts. So, charts helps us to visualize the data and it creates a much visual appealing of the data that we have collected.